Hey guys, Mike Mouse 74 with a few shoutouts. I want to announce the winners of my Transformers Custom Contest. Then I want to finally show you an update on my Transformers Collection, which I haven't done in like forever. Um, so we'll begin with the shoutouts. The first one goes to Minifro1256. Subscribe to him. Uh, new stuff great. Subscribe to him. And I want to congratulate Lunacy05 for reaching 800 subscribers. Dude, that's totally awesome, so congratulations. And I want to give Vita Septicano a shout out for, for a couple of reasons. Um, one is because he gave me a shout out in a couple of his videos. And number two, I just want to see if he's actually paying attention to, to this video or not. <laughs> I'm just busting your chops. Um, and I want to thank John Erie from Articulation Times for advertising my YouTube channel. Uh, I thank you for that. That was so cool of you to do that. So that, that was really, really nice. Um, for my Transformers Custom Contest, uh, I really did, didn't think I'd get that many. Uh, so I want to thank everybody who participated. And just so you guys know, there are no losers in my book. You guys are all winners. Everybody did such an outstanding job. I was really, really impressed. Uh, but unfortunately, I can only give out give two prizes. But uh, I just want to thank everybody who entered. Uh, Gageo Ninja, uh, Questlife, uh, Scoob6547, Mr. Skyline Madness 1, uh, Bumble Bloggin, Optimus Prime uh, 18 Full, and 84 Ironhide. You guys did an outstanding job. I was really, really impressed. But like I said, I'm just going to have to give out uh, two prizes because it gets a little bit, a little bit pricey now, now and then. Um, so second place winner goes to Bumble Bloggin. He did a Battle Blaze Bumblebee and customized it to a uh, uh, Movie 1 Bumblebee. And I was really, really impressed. That was really, really well done. And the first place winner goes to Gageo Ninja. Uh, he did a Dark of the Moon Fireburst Prime, customized it into Nemesis Prime. And he was the only one who did what he asked for, to go out and buy a new uh, Transformer and customize it. So I was really, really impressed by his as well. Um, so you guys uh, uh, send me a PM and uh, let me know what, um, what figures that you want. Uh, for first place winner, uh, you get a, your choice of a leader class, uh, Bumblebee, uh, Ironhide, or Sentinel Prime. Um, for a second place winner, uh, you get a choice of any deluxe figure that you want. So send me a PM and let me know. Um, so without further ado, let's get the collection underway.
these are the uh, Scan Series um, Iron Hide and Side Swipe. Just so you guys know. And there's Paraglide, one of my all-time favorite uh, characters from the Transformers. On the top of this shelf, I have some uh, figures from Cartoon Kingdom. Uh, Michael Keaton's the Beetlejuice and the uh, Jason Voorhees figure. And way at the back there, if you guys can see, it's a repaint from Re Revenge of the Fallen Bludgeon. This is uh, bon Bonsai Tron. You can see Jason Voorhees way at the back. There's my masterpiece, uh, Rodimus Prime next to my Masterpiece Grimlock. With my world's smallest Dinobot given to me by Mr. Prime 259. And my reissued G1 Soundwave, also given to me by, by Mr. Prime259. I won that from uh, one of his contests he did uh, a while back ago. And my custom uh, Soundwave from the Revenge of the Fallen, done by my good friend Scott. And a Mighty Mouse plush doll, also given to me by Mr. Prime259. There's War for Cybertron, Megatron, way at the back there if you guys can see. And then Generations, Skullgrin. And then Soundwave, Generations, Soundwave.
And one of those is that review of the Shield Jazz was given to me by Mitch Santona. We made a deal on a trade on a review of the Shield Jazz and review of the Shield Wind Charger. So we kind of did a swap right there with, with those two figures. And those little guys I got at TFCon last year, or this this year I should say, in July. I'll give you a close up on these little guys. They just look really, really cool. And then there's my three pack Rage Over Cybertron with Megatron, Optimus Prime, and Bumblebee. And there at the back is that Universe Blaster. There's my other masterpiece, uh, Rodimus Prime, still in the box, and my G1 sound, or my G1 blaster, sorry, that I got at Home Sense for like twenty bucks. I can't go wrong there. Another shelf, this is the AT-AT from the Star Wars, and on top of the AT-AT, uh, this figure is from the Generations Red Alert, uh, also given to me by Mr. Prime 259. He did a little customizing with it. Uh, he put the Canadian flag on the spoiler, and on the hood of the vehicle, and on top, and along the sides, and also put a uh, Autobot logo on the spoiler. And the Darth Maul there given to me by Sports Wolf 3. Same with the uh, the Predator figure. And these down here. Uh, I, I actually bought these off of Mr. Prime 259. He was having a sale, so I ended up uh, buying these figures off of him.
This shelf here is a little bit of a mixture of uh, animated and uh, Revenge of the Fallen figures. So there's animated RC, animated Ultra Magnus, given to me by Big Trans Fan, which I still haven't opened yet, but that's alright. Some more animated figures down here. Revenge of the Fallen figures. And you can see G1 Devastator is missing an arm only because I'm missing a peg that goes with one of the figures. So that's why he only has one arm. <laughs> and here's my Galactus figure that I forgot to show you that I got at Cartoon Kingdom. And I got another Galactus figure given to me by uh, by my bud Six Guy One because he found that Toys R Us for a little bit cheaper than what I paid for mine. <laughs> so we'll start with this shelf. Along this shelf, I have all my uh, Decepticons on the bottom shelf, and all my Autobots on the top shelf. And those little guys down there were also given to me by Mr. Prime 259. And that yellow dude there was given to me by Mr. Bash 104. Same with these two guys down there. I can't remember his name offhand, but he's from the uh, R.I.D. Robots in Disguise. So my G1 Ultra Man is missing a few parts, but that's alright. G1 uh, Hoist, give it to me my <laughs> Mr. Prime 259.
my ultimate bumblebee from Revenge of the Fallen. There's Unicron, as Sports Wolf 3 calls them. <laughs> I'm just kidding. That's Armada Unicron from the universe. G1 Jetfire he is now complete, thanks to my uh, bud 6 guy one for giving me some uh, some of the parts for him. And G1 Power Glide, I got one from uh, Mr. Prime 259 and from 6 Guy 1. Let's see if I if I can give you guys a little bit of a better view. So I do apologize for a little bit of shaking there. And I'm pretty sure those two guys there were given to be by by Sports Wolf 3. It's been a while, so. And there is a custom cliff jumper next to uh, Warfare Cybertron Bumblebee done by my buddy Scott. That was way before the uh, the original cliff jumper came out, so he did a uh, customized for me. for Decepticon Sea Spray. And that one was also given to me by uh, Mr. Bash 104. Also can't remember his name offhand. I'm just horrible with names. <laughs>
Here are some other Transformer figures I have on the shelf here. There's Transformers Generations Thrust, Hunt for Decepticons Payload, Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Defender Optimus Prime given to me by Sports Wolf 3. I won this contest a little while back, so that's why I, I have that. Transformers Revenge of the Fallen Brawn. I have two of them, one sealed from Mr. Prime 259 and one from Mr. Bash 104. And some other Hunt for Decepticon figures. Terror Dive and Tomahawk. And the keychain my, my buddy gave to me from work. And in, in the box behind Thrust is um, Human Alliance Shadow Blade Sideswipe, which I haven't <laughs> opened yet. And some other figures down here. There's Transformers Hunt for Decepticons, Tuner Skids. And some other figures down here. I also have some McDonald, McDonald figures still in the package. And there's Human Alliance uh, Autobot Jazz. On top of this shelf, I have a figure from Cartoon Kingdom, the Darth Maul figure. And some Transformers from the Hunt for Decepticons and Generations. Way at the back is the three-pack Rampage Among the Ruins, which I haven't opened yet. I'm still looking for uh, a three-pack which I can actually open and display. And behind uh, Red Alert is the Insecticon from the Revenge of the Fallen. And here are my Power Core Combiners. Those Legends figures I found at uh, Canadian Tire. And down here I have the whole entire uh, Reveal the Shield line. I was really lucky to find those. Here's the Reveal the Shield Legends class figures. And down here is a custom jet blade uh, given to me by Decepticon365. He made it into a power glide because he knows I like power glide from the uh, cartoon series.
Some other figures I forgot to show you. Uh, Transformers, Hunt for Decepticons, Battle Ops, Bumblebee. Down here is Transformers, Hunt for Decepticons, uh, Optimus Prime. And my Masterpiece Grimlock still sealed with the Transformers Movie 1 and 2. Transformers Hunt for Decepticons, Leader Class, Starscream. Transformers Hunt for Decepticons, Voyager Class, Sea Spray. And down there at the bottom, uh, lastly, uh, Transformers Hunt for Decepticons, Night Ops, Ratchet. And on this shelf here, I have a few Human Alliance figures from the Dark of the Moon and my Buster Optimus Prime. So this is a Transformers Human Alliance from the Dark of the Moon Leadfoot. And my Buster Prime who I bought at uh, TFCon this year. Looks really, really good. I'll eventually open them up, but uh, not right now. It just looks really, really cool still in this box. I absolutely love the chrome on this figure. Couldn't done any better. And then Transformers Dark of the Moon Human Alliance Roadbuster. Comes with the Sergeant Recon. You can see him sitting on his shoulder right there. And down here I have some more uh, deluxe transformers from the Dark of the Moon. There's Cyberfire Bumblebee. And Space Case at the back, if you guys can see. Autobot Jazz, also from the scan series, Autobot Ratchet and Bumblebee, and Specialist Ratchet from Dark of the Moon. And I have some more figures down here. Only found at Target, um, Transformers Legends Class, Lightfoot and Ironhide. And then again, also only at Target, Bumblebee versus Megatron. Then uh, another pack from Toys R Us. Legends Bumblebee, Ironhide versus Barricade and Crankcase. Then we come down here. Oh, I have my Thundercat figures. And another Dark of the Moon set. So we got Optimus Prime, Ratchet, and uh, Crankcase.
And then we got Panther from the Thundercats. And if you guys can see Mumra. And Decepticon Hatchet. And just a few more down here at the last shelf. Not Well, not the last shelf, but the last shelf that I have these figures on. Transformers Generations Thundercracker. Also from Dark of the Moon. Transformers Deluxe Class Bumblebee. And then Transformers Generations Wheeljack. Then I got my Transformers Vault on the shelf here. So here are some other Transformers that I have uh, from the Dark of the Moon, Ultimate Optimus Prime, and um, Omega Supreme. So I'll give you guys a close up. and Omega Supreme. Here I have my masterpiece uh, Optimus Prime. And then over here I have G1 Skylinks and Metroplex. And over here, finally, I have my uh, Masterpiece Megatron, which I've always been wanting to get. Down here are uh, Frenzy and Rumble with Starscream. And there at the bottom comes with Crimzeek. So this is Mike Mouse 74 with my collection update. I hope everybody enjoyed. It's kind of grown over the years. Uh, so once again, congratulations to the two winners of my uh, Transformers Custom Contest, Gay Geo Ninja and Bobo Bloggin. Don't forget to uh, send me a PM and let me know what figures you want. I'm pretty sure I know what Gay Geo Ninja wants, but I'm not too sure about the Bumble Bloggin, so send me a PM and let me know. Uh, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, support the mouse, support your Transformer community. Stay tuned for more reviews and more updates and much more. Till then, take care guys.